Hello every single buddy, welcome, welcome, welcome to how to go about extracting PlayStation 1 sprites from any game you want, any single game you want. And so for this one, I've got two different methods for you. One of them is a very, very, very easy method and a very good method. And if you can do it this way, then that's great. And uh, the second method is a lot harder. And this is like a, a you know, a last result if you can't get it through the first method I'm going to be showing you. And so all out of the way. Let's get started. And so the first thing you want to do to get started into this whole thing of extracting sprites from a PlayStation game is that you want to have your ROM. You want to have your PlayStation 1 ROM, your bin file, your ISO, anything like that. You can get them from various different sites and you know you, you can um, go and emulate them. And if you don't know anything about emulation or anything like that, I'd look into that first, figure out how you can emulate games from the PlayStation 1, and then come back to this video if you wanted to extract sprites from said game. And so, and so yeah, just with that out of the way, um, assuming you have your own PlayStation 1 ISO or ROM or bin file or anything like that, we, we can go and continue. And so what do I do? If you want to go to file and scan file for tim to view and tim to view is a very cool file to start off with and this is the easy way of doing it right and it'll be in the description and so you want to go and open up tim to view go on to scan file and then you want to direct yourself to any game you want any game that you're looking to extract a certain sprite from you know whether it be like a main menu or a certain um, character off a selection screen or anything like that and you want to double click your bin file, ISO, ROM file, whatever it is, and you want to double click it. And what will happen is that it'll scan through all the data, all the TIM files in the game. And if you have done that and it has indeed come up with all of the different sprites and textures, then that's all you need to do. You can end the video right off here and you can go and extract all the sprites and you've basically got the entirety of the guts of the game for all the sprites of it. And so yeah, if you've done that and it's come up with all these, then that's basically all you need to go and do. A few notes on this program is that you can set your transparency. I recommend full transparency just to save you from having to um having to you know get rid of the black later if you went on like no transparency you'd have to get rid of that black if you're ever going to upload it to say the sprite as resource which i'll show you more about this later but um yeah this is the easiest way to do this and if this worked for you then great you can go and extract all these sprites and have a good time but but what can happen sometimes is that if you go up to here and you try and get tomb raider 2 for example Try and scan that and it'll scan for the whole of the game and once it's gone and done you'll notice that it only comes up with a handful and the handful that it comes up with isn't that useful to you because it's all got all gooped and to explain this real quick the whole reason why that's happened is that not all playstation 1 games use .tim files there's a load of different files that they can use and a lot of them aren't tim files um, it depends on the game for some reason japanese games use more tim files than any of them so th there's that for you but uh, yeah a lot of them um, can use tim files and a lot of them can't so it just depends on the game but if you've opened up your selected rom you dead set on getting these sprites and it didn't show up here this is where we move on to the second method this is where we move on to the harder way that definitely still works just takes a little bit more time and so let's go move on to that and so what we want to do is closed him to view if that didn't work for you it's worth keeping the program if you want to ever scan another game but we'll close it for now and the next thing you want to do is you want to open up your game and you want to actually run your game and so if i run star gladiator over here it's a very good game it's very yeah, i like this game quite a bit but if you run star gladiator or any game you want to say and you run it in the epsxe and i'll have that in the description as well and that's the emulator you need to use for this playstation one um, tutorial i guess and what you want to do is your whole goal is basically to get yourself to the point where you want to extract the sprite and so you want to have in your mind okay this is the sprite that i want this is what i want i want this main menu or i want these characters or i want this loading screen or i want these selection characters over here and that's basically the goal is that you want to have in your mind that i want this specific one rather than with tim to view i want everything right because that would take a long time with this method but um anyways anyways what you want to go and do 
is you want to go and do a save state and you can do that by pressing F1 or you can back out of here go to run and press save state slot one in order to do the same thing and you want to take a save state of the screen that you want to capture the sprite from if that makes sense and once you've done that you can go and close epsxe right click or click epsxe right click it open file location and you want to find your you want to find your um, your save states and if this is the first time you're doing this and you've used this emulator quite a bit chances are you're just gonna have like a whole ton of these files everywhere and what you want to do is you want to make a, a separate folder a new folder for all of the all of the other um, you know save states that you have because these are all the save states right and so what you want to do is throw them all into another folder take another save state come back to this folder and then you'll come up with these two and then the punch.me i don't know why it's called that <laughs> but you want to delete the dot pick and then you want to click this one right click this rename and then take this off and at this point you can type whatever you want so i'm going to do sg for star gladiator and then you want to press dot and you can either use dot seven zip or dot zip I don't know if the .raw works, you know, for the raw file type uh, compression. I haven't used it, I haven't tried it, but .zip and .7zip will definitely work for this method. And so if you just, you know, follow along with what I'm doing, it'll make sense soon. And so I'm going to use 7zip for this example. Now you've got to right click it and then extract it again. And once you've extracted it, you'll get this file. And this is the file that we're going to need to have a look at all the sprites within the save state that we took within the kind of screen shot of the save state that we took if that makes sense and so what we're going to do now is use a program called vram vram is definitely a really cool program and this is now the hard way of doing it if you want to really get that sprite and so what you want to do is open vram and as, as always it's going to be in the description but you want to open it and then drag in the file that we just made, not the zip file or the 7-zip, the one that we extracted from that thread. So we throw this into here and then we'll come across this screen. And so if I'm going to break this down real quick, because there's a little bit to this, um, how this works is that you want to use WASD to move around. And you can move around your whole um, kind of box around and this is a box that magnifies on the bottom left as you can see what you're looking at and you can see this is the guts of the save state that you took it's all of the data within it all of the sprites all of the textures all that kind of stuff within it and you want to find which sprite you want to go for and so let's say i want to go for hater um this guy over here what i want to do is press zero on the keyboard and that's going to make it so that it, it puts it in a mode that prepares it for extracting sprites. And if you want to extract backgrounds, I think, then what you want to do is press 9 and it'll extract backgrounds instead. But you can try both of them and see which one works best for you. And so for this, it's going to be 0. And then with the arrow keys, what you want to do is you want to go have a look around in here. And what you'll notice is that as you go through here, the bottom left will change its palette color. And the reason for this is that to start off with, we don't have the right palette color for this sprite that we're trying to get. And the way we do get the right, <laughs> if I can speak, the right palette color is that when we go down and you see these strips of colors over here, all these different strips that we've got going along here. This dictates the palette that you're dealing with and sometimes it can be in really weird places sometimes it can be in easy places but again with the arrow keys you just want to go through all of this until you can find wherever your wherever your sprite is wherever your palette is any of that good stuff and it might take a while but you just want to go through it all and if you wanted to look more specifically in the little bits of the palettes to try and find it you can press shift and then go down or left right and go through all of it like that and you'll eventually find it and at this point it's very much trial and error and I, I can't find an easier way of doing this so far but if anyone knows an easier way then 
do let us know in the comments. But for now, what we want to do is see if we can find the right sprite. And you just want to go through all of them and scan through all of them until you can find the right one. And luckily for me, and what I'd recommend for you is starting off, is the sort of the top left of the whole strip. And the reason for that is sometimes if the game developers are nice, or the game is nice, you'll actually find the correct um, palette for you at the top left, or at least at the top of the of the of the strip. And this strip won't always be here, by the way. It could be at the top right. It could be at the top bottom, or the bottom, or the right bottom. It could be anywhere. But you want to look around for this strip and then find your right palette. And always remember to hold down shift to get a more detailed look at each palette until you find the right one you're looking for. And so that's why I said it's like harder, just because it takes more time, right? But we've got our one over here, and we're basically done at this point. But the only problem is, is that our, our taskbar is cutting off this a little bit, and we can't press Alt and Enter to go and go full screen, because the program just won't work like that. And so instead, this is really weird, I know, but instead what you want to do is you want to right click the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then put up automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. And then, and then you'll have the full screen to yourself. And then at that point, you just want to take a screenshot. And the way you did that, if you don't know, is you hold down the Windows key and then press screenshot at the top right-ish of the keyboard, print screen. And then you just crop this image that you have, and then you can go and do what you want to do it. And that's basically it. And you know, the reason I do this over just taking a screenshot of the game itself is that one, it comes up in the correct resolution, and two, that it isn't blocked by this character font or these fonts down here. You get the full picture over here, and so that's why I do that, right? But yeah, that's basically, that's basically it. If we go over to this one over here, you'll see we've got all the characters over here, the character selections, which are all these, you see. and. Again, it's just about holding shift and then going down through the palette until you find the one that you're looking for. And as you can see, it's here. And oftentimes when you have um, palettes or characters or uh, let's say sprites that are closer to each other, oftentimes they're not, they're going to be closer to each other in the palette as well. So you see how all these characters over here are closer to each other or quite close to each other. That means that that possibly possibly the uh, characters on here will be close to each other too and so and so yeah and so over here we've got gore there we've got uh, chewbacca over here and we've got um we've got june i think over there and we've got the dinosaur and as you can see i'm just holding down shift and then going through all of them and it's just about going through this whole strip and just through doing trial and error until you can find the kind of palette that you're looking for and this may take like a few minutes just to go through it all but you you'll find it eventually i'm sure you know it just takes a little bit a little bit of time and so yeah i think with all that being said that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Nothing's too difficult in this whole thing. It's just about finding the right thing. And one of the things I should mention before we end this whole thing off is that sometimes, sometimes what can happen is if I go and say you want to get this loading screen, if I leave it to the last second and then do it now, what can happen sometimes is that it can, let me just pause the game, is that it cannot display it correctly and that's because the, the game's already thinking about the next part of the game rather than what you're on right now. So if you're, you're on a screen that's going to change any second by it on its own, then it's worth taking the save state um, early on. You know, just to make sure you get all that data within your file, within VRAM and all that kind of thing. But yeah, that's basically, that's basically what you need to be going and doing to be able to get these sprites. And just to end off with, just to finish this video off with, I went through Star Gladiator and I got all these characters over here. And it took a long time, but I managed to get them all. And I couldn't do it through tim 2 view what we were using before sadly um but what i could do it through was vram and so sometimes you have to use vram to be able to get 
the sprites that you want to get. And so yeah, I went through all of them, got all these guys, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty good time. It's pretty, pretty interesting to be able to get them. And FYI, I had to hover over them for their icon to display, and then back out and then go through VRAM and then select them. They didn't show up all on their own, only the one that was selected, as you can see. Only Hayato shows up, so I had to go through all of them and get their icons to show up. But yeah, that was pretty fun, and if you want to go and, you know, get all your sprites and then put them onto the sprites as resource, which I'll also have linked, then that's a very cool thing to do, and, uh, and I'd, I'd strongly encourage that, because it's a very cool way to preserve sprites from the PlayStation 1, or any other game for that matter. And so, yeah, with all that being said, all that being said, I think we'll leave it off there. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, then subscribing is always a very cool thing to do. But with all that being said, I reckon I'll see you in the next one.